Hi guys, Adam McCubbin here. Today I'm going to give you my top three supplements that I recommend you get to increase my profits and for you to potentially get a little bit of weight loss and maybe even drop some body fat percentage. First supplement that I recommend you get directly from my website is some carnitine. Probably not, it's a waste. The second one helps to get things moving along and is quite expensive for not much is fiber. So buy that again from my website. Third and final, now you don't get many of these in a bottle, so you have to keep reordering, which is really great for me and for you, and that is CoQ10. So order that on my website. Now this is probably one of my biggest pet peeves is trainers and people online selling you things based on your insecurities and, and playing on those. People get fat from being in a constant calorie surplus rather than a deficit. You aren't fat because you're missing out on your latest meal replacement shake or insert latest craze fat burning supplement here. It's like often going to a used car salesman and asking them, do I need the rust proofing underneath my car? Going to a trainer and asking them if you need to buy a specific supplement from them, of course they're going to say yes, it lines their pockets and increases their bottom line. Now, if you've worked with me before, you'll know my approach is to eat first and supplement later. If you address your lifestyle factors, you start your training and you're doing all the right things in the gym and in terms of training, then I will send you away and get blood tests done, a full spectrum and making sure that we're covering all the bases. Don't need to start supplementing unless you've done the appropriate research and required testing to know. How do you know what level of dosage that you required? So for example, if it's vitamin D, which commonly people are deficient in, but as to what level that is someone deficient is to how much you're actually going to supplement. Just blindly going in and saying, okay, we're gonna take 5,000 IUs of vitamin D every day just because we know that you're sitting inside can be actually dangerous. If you take it for a long period of time, Vitamin D is an oil based, uh, it's, not, it's not water soluble, so it's harder for your body to excrete excess vitamins, uh, vitamin D if you do not need it. The counter arguments I often get from my peers when it, regarding uh, supplements and when to do it is often they would do it as a therapeutic means, for example, to improve someone's sleep. Now, yes, taking magnesium, taking melatonin, taking L-tryptophan and GABA, these supplements can increase the quality of your sleep and can help you fall asleep. Now that's great, but I usually attack it from the lifestyle first, nutrition first, eating the nutrient dense foods. And then I've found in the past that when you get all your your boxes checked in a line, that sleep can often fix itself rather than supplementing before and, and getting people to sleep without actually teaching them to, to eat properly and to exercise and to practice uh, mental approaches for sleeping better as well. And I think it teaches people the wrong sort of skills. It teaches them to supplement first rather than addressing the elephant in the room that might be your mindset or actually doing the work that is required. Everyone wants the quick fix, the easy option without actually doing the work. Now, just putting a band-aid on that and not having a long-term approach for nutrition, for training, I think is dangerous. A lot of network marketing companies use their products and say that their specific product is the reason why these people have been successful and lost all this weight. And they'll have before and after shots of 10 kilos of weight loss, 15 kilos of weight loss and 20, etc. Now, the reason people are losing weight on meal replacements and, and those types of programs is because they're in a calorie deficit. When you go onto, say, shakes in the morning and afternoon and you have a normal meal, you're at an extreme calorie deficit. Now, when you're in a calorie de deficit, you're losing weight. It's not because the shake is making you lose weight. It's and I think this is dangerous for people because they associate the purchase and being involved with that company is the only way that they can lose weight. My view is we're designed to eat food. If we were designed to just have medical shakes and meal replacements, we'd be born with no teeth and they'd give us a blender when we first come into the world. 
Now, a lot of companies will market, yeah, this is all natural, it'll have you know, real bee pollen in it. And having a novel idea, why don't you actually just eat what comes in nature rather than buying something that comes in a container that claims to be all natural and is, is some sort of broken down powder. Now I get that modern agricultural practices and monocrops have devoid a lot of the key minerals and nutrients that were once found in our soil. So there is a big argument for obviously the need for supplements. And I think there is a great need for supplements with people, but the key is to understand when to take supplements and to not just blindly take supplements because someone on Facebook or Instagram who's got abs told you this is how they got abs by taking, taking X for six, six weeks or, or whatever it might have been. I hope this clears some things up. If you've got any views or thoughts on this, or even if you completely disagree with what I've said, if you like this content and you'd like to see a little bit more, then I suggest that you subscribe to my email list, which I'll put a link in the notes below. And that way you can get access to some of my exclusive content, some of my webinars, and I'll always be putting out offers and exclusive offers to, to my subscribers. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking to you all soon.